Hello and welcome to the second Planet Coaster video here on TPA Vlogs. Now today I'm going to be doing some more of the finishing touches to the Wild Western themed area which we started building in the first episode. Um, and yeah, that was just over a week ago. These uh, This video was slightly delayed seeing as we had some other videos that went up on the channel. Uh, so yeah, that was just over a week ago. So yeah, I'm going to be adding in some of the theming and some of the props uh, in the Wild Western area and around the RMC coaster um, just to give it that bit of extra detail um, as you know this game is a lot of work and effort goes into this and it's like um, it's nice when rides have a lot of theming and you know detail around them so you know that's what I was trying to go for um, so here I'm just adding in some different water and lake features um, but yeah the, uh, th loads of you really enjoyed the last episode we've had a, a, over hundreds of views um, on that, so yeah, thank you all to you who had tuned in on that. Uh, that was fantastic, um, and I have actually picked a name. Now I did say I might leave it until after this episode where I pick the name, and I'll pick that in the third one. Uh, but I really uh, liked one of the names, so I will uh, be using that name later, um, and I'll be revealing that around maybe halfway through the video. I think that would be best. Um, so yeah, throughout this video, as I've mentioned, you'll be seeing me adding in some of the theming and working on some of the queue line areas uh, for this themed area. Um, and you know, I think this themed area is going to be spread across maybe two, three or four episodes. Yeah, I think three or four. As I'm hopefully going to be trying to get um, uh, maybe three or four different rides in. Of course, that includes the RMC coaster. Um, so that's the first ride in this. Um, themed wild western area uh, I'm hopefully I'm wanting to put in a um, you know those western um, steam trains I'm going to be putting one of those in that goes around the area and I'm going to be putting one of the flat rides in but I'm not too sure what that's going to be yet um, but yeah you'll see that go in this episode the flat ride um, uh, so stay tuned for that that'll be coming up later in the video so yeah overall in this episode we're going to be uh, putting in the first flat ride as well and we're going to be working on the entrance into this themed area. Um, but yeah, if you didn't see the last episode, um, I would check that out because that tells you a bit about what, what I'm going to try and do with this park. Um, I'll go over it again now. Um, so yeah, basically what I want to do is, um, a bit like Disney, Disneyland, Disney World, um, they have their you know main park themed to their you know Disney attractions. And then they've got the Studios Park op opposite that. Um, and that's what I'm going to try and do in this. I'm going to have a full-on detailed uh, park with you know different themed areas. Of course, they're not going to be Disney IPs, um, but they'll be you know they're my own creations. And then I'll have my own studios area at the back of the park somewhere. And I'm I might do it like Disney, where you have the two admission things, or I might just have it as another themed area type thing. Um, but yeah, here you can see me adding in some of that hashtag rock work around the water feature. Uh, I'm not going to show you all of it as it does get a bit um, repetitive and a bit boring but I'll show you some of the first little bits of it um, so yeah the name suggestion I have got that uh, and I'll be telling you that in a few minutes uh, after I've added a bit more theme in it you know I think that'll be nice um, but it's a great name suggestion it was suggested by one of you in the last episode so thank you very much um, and you know later on we have the flat ride coming in um, so stay tuned for that because I do need a name suggestion for that so uh, do leave your comments below when you see that later on in the video um, for you know the name of the flat ride as you know I do need names for each of the rides in the park and obviously if I don't get any of the suggestions I'll have to come up with them for myself um, but yeah you can leave the suggestions in the uh, comments below on this or you can you know DM us on our you know social media pages I think that said that right. DM, yeah, yeah. DM on our social media pages. Um, so yeah, we're always, uh, you know, open to suggestions. Um, and I will, you know, post on our social media pages, you know, the ride that we need naming. So if you actually haven't seen the video, you'll definitely be able to, um, you know, n name it on there. So I think that would be quite nice. Um, but yeah, thank you for suggesting that. I'll go over that in a minute. Uh, but as you can see there, I did finish off the rock work. I did skip. Uh, quite a bit of that for you because I did think it got a bit um, repetitive after a while. But yeah, I've added that in around the whole, you know, water feature. And you know, even bits like that, that's not going to be a main focus on it. That's there's not going to be a path going around that. That's just at the side. Um, but yeah, it's nice to add, you know, detail, um, you know, to the areas. As I think, you know, even if you don't see it that much, 
um, it really makes a park. And as you can see here, I'm adding in some uh, trigger effects. And overall, this coaster, I'm really pleased with how it's you know um, came al came along, and it's really good. Um, and you see that I'm just testing out some of the brakes. And you know, I like I like I don't like sometimes it's good, but um, I don't always like when you stop. I quite like station fly-throughs and where you uh, go into the stop uh, station, then brake. Um, you have that's a good example at Portons Park, um, flight of the pterosaur, and that's a really good one over there. You fly straight into the station, then brake, um, and that's really good. So if you have been to Portons Park, you'll know what I mean. Um, is that's really good, and hopefully we'll be heading over there next year, um, and I'll be getting a vlog from there from you uh, for you. Uh, but yeah, you see here I'm adding in some more of the nature. Uh, around the RMC, um, but yeah, moving away from Planet Coaster, next year um, we've got a whole big lineup of parks that we can hopefully visit, uh, depending on the COVID-19 restrictions. Um, so yeah, we're going to be hopefully trying to uh, visit quite a few in the UK. Of course, we're visiting the main ones uh, that we tend to go to that we have been this year. We'll be over at uh, Legoland, Chessington, you know, Alton Towers. Thought Park, places like that. Um, but some new places we'll be trying to visit is um, Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Uh, we're trying to head over there uh, next year. Maybe in the, I think it's in the May. In May we'll be trying to get over there. Um, we'll also be in trying to get over to places like, as I said, Portons Park, Adventure Island, um, places like that, Flamingo Land. Uh, loads of new places uh, that will be on the channel. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And of course, you know, we're not always uh, theme parks as well. Most of the videos you have seen on the channel are theme park related. Uh, but we are also, uh, you know, about attractions as well. So, uh, yeah, we're trying to visit some attractions. We might be doing more of that over the Christmas period when theme parks are shut. Uh, so stay tuned for that. We've already got an attraction planned. It's a Christmas light show uh, that will be coming up on the channel. Uh, we'll be heading there in December, so you'll be getting that. Um, so stay tuned for that vlog. Um, but yeah, got, got a line up next year, and you know the big trip next year. Hopefully, if there's you know fingers crossed, uh, coronavirus has died down a bit. We're going to be trying to head over to Port Ventura in Spain. Um, I think it's Salou, Spain. Uh, some I think that's the name of it. But yeah, we're trying to head over there um, and get a couple of vlogs from that. But of course, the major trip, uh, which is not next year, will be the year after. Hopefully, depending on COVID. Uh, will obviously be, as I've mentioned in previous videos, the Disney World Florida trip. Um, and obviously, we're not just going to be visiting Disney, we'll be visiting Disney for four or five days and then making our way, just uh, I think it's just down the road, uh, to Universal Orlando um, in Florida as well. So, we're heading over there uh, for a couple of days, I think maybe the same amount of days as Disney, um, and then we'll be heading over to Bush Gardens for two days. Uh, so yeah, got it all planned out, looking really good so far. It's going to be a great trip, you get a lot of vlogs. Um, and when we do head over to those places, uh, like Disney and Orlando, um, I'll try and do a vlog every day, uh, but there will be one day um, at Orlando and Disney that I'll have a day off vlogging. Because uh, if, even if we're there four or five days, you'll still get four vlogs from each of the parks. Um, so I do want to just have a day to chill and you know relax. And you know, go to the park and experience it. Um, you know, without vlogging. Of course, I love doing the vlogging, uh, but it's quite nice sometimes to you know go to a park and experience it. Um, you know, without filming. Um, but yeah, I will be filming most of that trip. Uh, so stay tuned for that in a couple of years' time, and hopefully by then, uh, I know it's crazy, but hopefully by then we'll have reached um, over a thousand subscribers. That huge milestone. Um, so yeah, hopefully that will be happening. Um, so stay tuned. Now, uh, name suggestion. Uh, I'm going to reveal the name now of the RMC coaster, um, as I know a lot of you have been looking forward to that. Um, so the name was suggested by um, Tom Rooney09, uh, and that was on the previous video. He suggested that, um, and he decided uh, that it would be called Rocky Escape. I love that name. Um, so thank you for that, Tom. Uh, you have, you know, you're the first person to be picked for a name suggestion in this park. Uh, so well done and congratulations. Um, and you know that will be over our social media pages of the name of the of the ride. So thank you very much for that suggestion. Um, and you know, definitely leave your suggestions um, for the flat ride coming in later. But yeah, thanks for that, Tom. 
um, and stay tuned for more videos here on the channel. So here, you're, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm actually adding in the entrance to the Wild Western area, and you can see I'm adding in some of this bunting along the top. Um, and so I didn't want it to be an overly, um, you know, a major en entrance, um, but you know, I wanted it to be fairly detailed. Um, but you know, it's it's all right. Um, so here I'm adding in some more theming. We've got windows, um, adding in some of the you know the banisters, and I'll add some um, of the um, you know balcony areas on that. Of course, the guests won't be able to go on it. Um, but yeah, it, it's just a bit of theming. And uh, there's going to be two entrances into this area, um, and one at, but over by the ferry boat. You can just see through the um, tri uh, through the entrance there. Um, so yeah, there'll be two, uh, and that one will lead over to the, I think we're going to do a pirate area next, if not I'll do a fantasy area. Uh, so stay tuned for that, that'll be in about five episodes time. Uh, and we know I might even decide to do um, uh, the studio area next at the back of the park, never know, I might do that. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned because that'll be upcoming in a few um, days, time. well not days, but a few weeks time. Um, but yeah, funny enough, when I'm filming this and you know doing the voiceover there, of course it's all sped up. Uh, we're actually going to be heading to Chesington World of Adventures for the Halloween event in just a few hours' time. So yeah, a very busy day today. Uh, so I hopefully I don't lose my voice later because I'm speaking for you for about 25 minutes on this video, and then I'm going to be doing about half an hour vlog at Chesington. Uh, so yeah, fingers crossed. I've got three days of vlogging up coming up. I've got Chesington today. Um, but will be a different day for Planet Coaster. Planet Coaster will go up after Chesington, um, probably some day throughout the half term. And then I've got Legoland uh, after the day after Chesington, and we've got Thorpe Park after that. So yeah, a lot of talking, and I could feel my voice already, uh, already giving in already. So uh, yeah, very busy, very busy half term week. And you know, it's going to be. I think it's going to be fairly busy. But you know what? We'll go for the Halloween experiences. We haven't really done the parks at Halloween before, so it's nice to go and check them out. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, you can see some of the balcony here uh, going in, um, and it's looking really nice. We've you know about halfway through the video now, um, so yeah, stay tuned. Um, I'm going to leave you in just a minute with a bit of theme park music that I've picked. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for that. But you know, I'll play that in a minute I, because it's quite nice to do. You sit back and enjoy without me speaking for the whole time. And listen to a bit of theme park music, so stay tuned. Um, but yeah, you can see here I'm going to be adding in some flowers. And I, I decided that the flowers don't really work along the uh, banister, so I had some doors in instead, making sure they're all lined up on the floor. But overall, yeah, I'm really happy with how this area is turning out already. Um, and you know, I think, I th yeah, as I was saying, I didn't want the entrance to be overly, you know impressive not impressive but I didn't want it to be overly you know eye drawing um, I want it to be quite simple quite um, quite chilled and I'm going to be using the same entrance over at the other entrance that will be going in uh, on, I think in episode 3 we'll be adding that in um, but yeah here we go I'm going to leave you with a bit of music from the iconic nemesis ride over at Alton Towers so here you go and I'll speak to you in just a minute
there was some music from the iconic Nemesis ride over at Alton Towers Resort and my favourite roller coaster here in the UK. Um, but here you can see me starting to add in the first flat ride in the park, and I've decided to go for one of the gyro swing rides. Um, uh, a good example of this is over at Drayton Manor, you've got one over there. Um, and yeah, they're a really good ride, and I do enjoy them. Um, but you'll see here I'm adding in some of the queue line, um, some of the exit paths, and you just saw a few minutes ago during the music uh, that I had uh, was finishing off the entrance and adding in a few little market, you know, carriages and stalls. Um, but yeah, this gyro swing ride I wanted to swing right over the lake, um, seeing the ferry boat uh, or steamboat, whatever you uh, like to call it. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoy that. I think it makes it a bit more intense and a bit more nice, giving it a bit more atmosphere. Um, and I think I, I do like the idea of these trees. I did say last episode that I thought these trees fit in quite well with the theme of it. Uh, so that's what I went with for this. Um, and I went for some of the classic forest bushes um, just to go around them. As you know, they fit in quite well with normally anything. Um, but here I'm adding in some more of that hashtag rock work. Not doing a lot of it. Um, you Most of that went in around the water feature back there. And this area is really probably the most amount of rock work you're going to see. Um, there's not much going to be in the fantasy area, might be a little bit in the pirate, um, maybe a few, fit, few bit in the studio bit when I'm doing some of the scenes. Uh, but yeah, overall this area is probably going to have the most. Um, but yeah, overall I think I'm going to have four rides in this. Um, I'm going to have, as you see here, we've got two rides in here now. You've got the gyro swing, and of course you've got the RMC coaster. Uh, now, as I said, I'm going to have the... Um, steam train coming in um, but I'm also thinking maybe considering having the uh, target shooter ride in here and have a bit of a western town uh, shooting uh, you know area outdoor one uh, so leave your comments if you want me to do that I'm thinking I will um, as there's a little bit of area next to the uh, next to this area where that could fit in um, just behind the where the steam train entrance will go so yeah I'm thinking about it but yeah stay tuned for that um, that will be coming up later now you'll see that there's some studio props in the park and I'm putting in a camera here now originally when I was building this park I wanted it to be a studio type park the whole of it um, but after this episode I you'll see in the future ones that all these cameras have been taken out and all of that as you know I wanted, I decided to do that just that area um, as you know I thought that would fit in a lot nicer um, so yeah that is that is the reason why um, I'm adding them in, so if you, no confusion will be going in, they'll be coming out soon. Um, so yeah, don't worry about them. Uh, but yeah, uh, we are coming up to the end of the video in a minute. Um, but yeah, that uh, you know, it's been a really good de uh, episode and quite a detailed one. We've added in a lot of theming around the RMC, adding in the first flat ride in the park, and you know, overall, this uh, you know themed area, the first one in the park, is coming along quite nicely. And actually, this is the first themed area I've actually built in Planet Coaster, the proper detailed one. And I'm really happy with it. Now, I am going to be, with the areas, adding in this hill, um, these hills, you know, to just to block it off, to give it, you know, the, each area that uh, feel that you're in a, a different style of world. Um, but yeah, you see here that I'm going to start flattering, flattering this out. And as you can see, this train station will go um, just there. And the you know just next to that I'm thinking about putting the shoe to ride in. So uh, yeah, overall looking really good. Um, but yeah, just there that's where the train station will go. Um, but looking out, zooming out, it's looking really good this area. I'm going to add a little bit of a lake in here, a little bit of a river running along. I'm not sure if it will, if I'll make it join the lake in the next episode. I might just have it running in under there. Um, but yeah, you know. Um, you know, overall, happy with how this has gone. But yeah, looking here, I, I, you know, overall, I did decide to have it running in under that tunnel. Um, but you know, I'm quite happy with it because it it looks like it will join up with the other lakes. Um, but yeah, happy with how this has gone on, and really looking forward to it. Um, stay tuned for episode three that will be up. In, hopefully, I'll try and get it out in a week. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, overall, really happy with this area now. Um, and it's a really immersive themed area that you know. I wish a lot of British parks had more immersive areas. I know uh, they, they, you know, they do the best they can, like Alton Towers. You've got, um, but a really good themed area is over at um, 
over at um, Portons Park. But yeah, as you can see there, uh, that is all we have today. Uh, so if you have enjoyed, please do leave a like, subscribe and turn notifications so you don't miss another video here on the channel. Um, and that is all for me here today. If you did enjoy, um, uh, stay tuned for the next episode and do leave a comment for the flat ride name. Um, but yeah, stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one here on the channel. Goodbye.